Sir, when Flat Earth is revealed, yeah. everything will be solved because then all the money will be able to go to the right place. Because well, we why get will 19, because 19.5 billion dollars is given to NASA every that's year to give nothing. us CGI that's a, images. That's a, that's a drop in the bucket. That's 19.5 billion dollars, that's sir. Nothing. That's nothing it is something. What this world is dealing with right now, 19.5 billion dollars is one year in Afghanistan, for God's sakes. Okay. Why do we go to it's Afghanistan? Nothing. It's nothing. I'm a, I'm against war. Do you know why I, we go to Afghanistan? I'm not saying that you are or aren't. I'm just saying that there's more problems in the world than... No, this is the, the ultimate the problem, world. sir. Earth is round or flat. Sir. What's, go, what's, gonna, what's gonna save the world? Can I ask you, you a question? That the world this is a start. Better? This is a start, sir. What, what, what are you gonna do to make it better? I don't know, man. This is just a plan right. and I'm letting people know. But at least I'm doing something about it, right? Are you? About I, I am. About what? I talk about vaccines and I talk about well, GMOs and I talk about war. Presentation here was yeah, about it is. You're right because we're being lied to about where we about live. Vaccines. And do you even know like why we go to Afghanistan? A challenge to what? What are you doing? Is. What are you doing? I'm asking you some questions right now. Yeah, you are, and now I I'm asking you. Things. What do you do? I do? A lot of things, and they're none of your business. Oh, I'm okay. Not you on won't. The street right you now. won't tell me. I, you know, I'm not on, on the street right now <laughs> proposing that the world is flat versus round. You're right. All I'm doing right now is asking you. What is the benefit of you proving the world is flat versus round? It's important to go back and look at these ancient cultures that did not have the kind of brainwashing or indoctrination that we did. And for them to come up with a completely different concept uh, using Rahu and Kehu, that if it's so simple, if it's so matter of fact, then they would call it the moon. I mean, how difficult is that? They, oh, it just happens that the moon goes by at this. They could track all those things, but they were smart enough to realize that it wasn't the moon. And that's simply, simply the case. So for all the globe believers that think it's so funny and think it's so hilarious that uh, people question it, they just don't realize that they're a product of their um, education. And they think that because they were taught something at a desk that it means it's a fact. And if it was so matter of fact, then why is there such thing as Rahu and Kehu? These guys would have easily just said, well, clearly it's the moon causing the eclipse because we know that uh, on its phases, it's getting over there, it's getting close, and it crumbs in front. But they must have saw something that made them say, it's not the moon, it's something else. So, you know, you may think that uh, we're really unintelligent, but really we're just thinking and trying to erase what we see as indoctrination at something that those people aren't capable of doing. I was pretty upset, um, didn't get to see it, and uh, was upset at NASA. Um, you know, they have all these um, feeds from different areas, and this NASA live feed from this location, and they're all from the ground showing the sky. And, you know, if I'm paying somebody $53 million a year, I would expect to get something other than what I can see. It's none of it makes sense from the heliocentric model, from the heliocentric point of view. Um, for one, the amount of time that the eclipse is going to last tomorrow. Uh, here in Oklahoma, it's going to last pretty much all day. Not a total eclipse, we're not going to get a total eclipse here, but the sun is going to be obscured by the moon for a large section. Hours of the day, we're going to be able to see the moon in front of the sun. 
I don't know. I don't know what they are, but, you know, a lot of people, and even myself, have called them the possibility that this is the Rahu and Kebu, uh, Ketu, the fabled Rahu and Ketu, whether or not they're real or not, I don't know. But I do know that this is only one of many anomalies that people picked up, and I don't believe that all of them are lens flares. I mean, there's something to this. And, of course, the biggest anomaly of all is that we don't seem to be able to detect the moon in any way, shape, or form. So it's either creating its own light it's something else right but to say that got in front of the sun and caused the sun to go dark when we're supposed to see it reflecting sunlight that seems kind of dumb to believe doesn't it i remember before the eclipse even started i was looking in the sky i was looking for the moon and i i couldn't find the moon it's supposedly the new moon so you shouldn't really be able to see any of the sun's light reflecting off of it and i thought that was kind of strange that before and after the eclipse was starting there was literally no moon i didn't see any moon i didn't see the moon on the side or to the right or to the left when it passed. From where I was standing, it came from the right of the sun and then it moved towards the left and it passed over it and I didn't see the moon. I didn't see anything resembling the moon. I didn't see any of that. I did try to look for it. I was trying to look in the sky elsewhere to see if I can capture the moon elsewhere to try to prove that there are other dark bodies in the sky, such as Rahu. A 70 mile shadow, total shadow. I know the shadow's bigger than that, but of a moon that's 238,000 miles away, um, I don't know how you can replicate that. I don't know how you can reproduce that on a smaller scale where you take an object and end up with a smaller shadow than the object itself, which is, it would have to be the case. Um, you know, I mean, you're talking about the totality of the moon blocking the totality of the sun. Guys, this proves the sun and the moon are close, if you really think about it. Okay, and absolutely, it's 100% proof that the moon and the sun are close to Earth. Prepare to be astonished! Oh, so far, it's 92 million miles away to the sun, and then the sun and the moon are in the sky that's going to go across from the left, and that's why. And all that stuff seemed really important until the day of the eclipse when the moon didn't even bother to show up. Thermal images of the sun shows that there was nothing blocking the sun. There is no moon near the sun, and they don't understand how whatever it was blocked the sun. In the meantime, there was very heavy chemtrailing going on. I, in one location, they claimed that the solar eclipse took place one hour earlier than it should have. So what was this huge object that was in front of the sun? Was it Nibiru? Was it Planet X? Anyways, it's supposed to be about full right now. It's coming out of it, I think, but... Yeah, I'm not going blind. It's a weird ass pattern around it. <laughs> yeah. So, I think that must bust it. If you stared at it for a long time at its brightest, I guess you might go blind or have your vision affected for a while. There's a period where it is safe to view the sun with your eyes and you know, you'll you'll know because when you look at it, it doesn't hurt. You don't need to like cringe your eyes unless you're a person who wears sunglasses on the daily. Like I do see a lot of flat earthers and truthers out there who wear sunglasses or have maybe tinted glasses. For those people, I suggest that maybe you look into how we should be letting the light through our eyes because this is a way that it travels into our third eye. I can tell you, one, yes, it's bright as fuck. I can barely see the screen right now. I'm just seeing white dots. And uh, I can tell you, I, I did document and watched all the way up and I caught video clips, but you just can't really see anything but glare on my phone. But you can't see shit approaching the moon. 
I watched for the entire, since I made the first video this morning, every 10, 15 minutes I kept looking and looking. You can't see shit approaching the moon. I don't see how a supposed solid object like the moon can't be visible unless it's translucent like people's been saying. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I, I hope some people got some good solar filters on there. I'm sure, sure they do. I want to uh, give my uh, acclamations or my precise uh, decisions about yesterday's hoax eclipse. I couldn't find my shadow for a quick moment yesterday. My shadow was completely gone. Literally, I have footage of where I was going in circles because I couldn't find it for a quick second. Then, when I did find it, it was so detailed, but I had to chase it to keep up with it. It wouldn't stay with me. I don't know if that's a problem in y'all's world, but that was a huge problem in mine. Guys, it's a hoax. I'm sorry, but it is. And I'm here to tell you what the government won't tell you. Um, it's really scary for me, personally, because I know that they're gonna come after me. But I'm willing to make the sacrifice for you guys. I'm going to do some channeling with spirit. I've recently heard that there is a conversation that the solar eclipse was a hoax. <clears throat> so I thought I would just explore this on my own and we can see if the solar eclipse was a hoax or just see what my spirit guides have to share about that, okay? Um, so basically, the sun has aliens on it. And the government has created the moon to go over the sun to hide the aliens. That's why they give you the special glasses because if you don't use them, you can see the aliens. It's interesting because the moon starts to turn into a sun and it feels alive with radiant love energy. And that radiant energy is starting to manifest light everywhere. It doesn't burn, it doesn't hurt. She is starting to experience the glow of the sun in her own heart. She is mesmerized by the reality that the moon could become the sun and that they could both be one and also be felt within her heart. She feels like God has given a miracle to her, a miracle that she will never forget, a gift and a blessing that is truly astronomical. Clearly, a green planet was there yesterday. Clearly. I don't know what planet it was. Oh, if it's a moon of a nemesis, it was not our moon. Furthermore, I have footage proven that this, the moon was never seen yesterday at all. The moon was not seen. It just, it wasn't anywhere around. Uh, before or after totality it just wasn't there so you take that like you want it do some research and you too will see even Stellarium proves it you gotta know what you're looking for you gotta have the will to do it yesterday was a hoax total hoax and if you do look directly at the sun the government comes and blinds you because oh, everyone knows that looking at the sun doesn't cause you to go blind that's probably the stupidest thing I've ever heard and it's really sad that the government is lying to us about this. Lots of people have wanted to know for a really long time if aliens exist and the fact that they're not telling us is really serious and I just wanted to let you guys know. Um, please don't give me hate for this, I know this is really hard to, to understand and to realize but I promise I'm here for you if you want to talk about it, if you want to talk to some other people in the comments who are going through this really hard period of realization, um, that's okay. And if you want to talk to me about it, then go ahead and comment below because, I mean, I'm the one that told you about it and obviously I know everything. Which would you prefer? Because you can decide how you want to believe in things, perceive things, become one with thoughts in this world, perceptions, love energy or chaos energy. What should heaven do about it? 
what should heaven do if you are grateful for a solar eclipse or you are self-punishing because you believe the solar eclipse was real? Either way, you're the decider. You're the chooser of your own experience. So that's what my spirit guides have to say about that. <laughs> doing are you kidding me dude if you're gonna watch my youtube channel why don't you watch the rest of my stuff too why don't you investigate this cancer society why don't you investigate the cystic fibrosis foundation why don't you investigate the federal reserve why don't you investigate vaccines gmos chemtrails huh i don't want any of that crap on my flat earth I'm coming after you, YouTube, Google, establishment. Are you kidding me? It's people like that that I'm out here for. I'm tired of this. That guy is so brainwashed. Look at how brainwashed he is. What am I doing? Stuff like that just gets me irritated. What am I doing? I'm doing it for that kid right there who's being lied to about where he lives. Being taught about evolution, coming out of a monkey's butt, primordial ooze from billions of years ago. That's a lie. Kids are being taught lies in school. Fraudulent educational system. Sending kids What am I doing, he says. Unbelievable. What am I doing? I'm doing everything I can so I don't gotta pay taxes on the Federal Reserve. That's what I'm doing. 